everyone welcome back in this session we are going to discuss about the refraction at spherical surface so you consider two media uh, having a refractive index of mu1 and mu2 and these two media are separated by a spherical surface then when a light ray is incident on that spherical surface refraction takes place and now let us consider a convex surface so this is a convex surface uh, it is separating the two different media having a refractive index of here it is having a refractive index of mu2 and here it is having a refractive index of mu1 and here this is the principal axis and this point is a pole or a optical center whatever it may be and here i am considering a point object a point object is on principal axis so a ray will pass from the object and here the refraction takes place at the spherical surface and here the ray is incidenting here so the image forms here here from principal axis also a ray is passing so the two rays as the two rays are meeting here image is formed and here i am considering this as center of curvature so this will be our normal the line drawn or the line joining the point of incidence and center of curvature is called as normal and here the point of incidence i am naming it as a and here the distance between this a and the principal axis is y and here this incident ray is making some angle alpha and here this normal is also making with this principal axis so that is beta and here the refracted ray is making some angle with principal axis that is delta so this is the situation here and now uh, we know that the snell's law what is snell's law snell's law is mu1 sin i equal to mu2 sin r and here these angles are very small as the rays we are considering here are parallel rays the angle between this parallel rays are very small so here what uh, uh, as the rays are small we can uh, write as sin i is equal to i and uh, sin r equal to r that means mu1 i that is equal to mu2 r so let it be equation 1 and now if you observe here here this is a triangle o c a a triangle o c a so from this triangle if you observe see this is the angle of incidence i and this is the angle of refraction r so here if you observe this triangle these two are interior angles alpha and beta are interior angles and i is the exterior angle so we know that from the law of triangle the sum of two interior angles is equal to exterior angle that means alpha plus beta is equal to i alpha plus beta is equal to i in the same way here we can observe one more triangle c a i is another triangle so from triangle c a i so here also you can observe two interior angles delta is the interior angle and r is the interior angle and beta is the exterior angle for it so we can write as delta plus r is equal to beta the sum of two interior angles is equal to exterior angle so these are the two equations we got here and from this we can write r equal to r equal to beta minus delta so here we have i value and here we are having r value so put this i and r values in equation 1 if you place this i and r values in equation 1 we will get the equation like this mu1 instead of i write down alpha plus beta is equal to mu2 instead of r write down uh, beta minus delta so if you multiply this 
म्यू वन आल्फा प्लस म्यू वन बीटा इज इक्वल टू म्यू टू बीटा माइनस म्यू टू डेल्टा सो दिस इज द इक्वेशन नो एंड नाउ आफ्टर दैट ओके सो दिस इक्वेशन कैन कैन बी रीअरेंज इन दिस वे सो म्यू वन आल्फा एंड ब्रिंग दिस म्यू टू डेल्टा दिस साइड सो इट विल बिकम प्लस म्यू टू डेल्टा सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू म्यू टू बीटा एंड यू टेक दिस साइड म्यू वन बेटा यू टेक दिस साइड सो दैट विल बी माइनस म्यू वन बेटा सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज म्यू वन आल्फा प्लस म्यू टू डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू सो इफ यू टेक बेटा कॉमन हियर सो इट विल बी म्यू टू माइनस म्यू वन म्यू टू माइनस म्यू वन एंड सी हियर लेट एस इंट्रोड्यूस टैन वाई वी हैव टू इंट्रोड्यूस टैन मीन्स सी हियर टैन इज ऑपोजिट बाई एडजेंट साइड सी वॉट एवर वी रिक्वाड हियर इज ऑपोजिट साइड ऑपोजिट साइड एंड एडजेंट साइड सो दैट्स वो यू आर इंट्रोड्यूसिंग टैन हियर एंड हियर वन मोर थिंग इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड ऑप्टिकल सेंटर इज ऑब्जेक्ट डिस्टेंस एंड द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ऑप्टिकल सेंटर एंड इमेज इज इमेज डिस्टेंस and the distance between this optical center and the center of curvature is radius of curvature so now uh, apply tan here so by applying tan it will be mu1 tan alpha plus mu2 tan delta equal to tan beta of mu2 minus mu1 so here what is tan alpha alpha is this one no tan means opposite by adjacent side opposite by adjacent side means y see here opposite side is y and adjacent side is u that means mu1 y by u plus see here let us apply the sign convention see the sign convention rules are all the distances are measured from pole or optical center so if you are measuring like this the incident ray is opposite to us so this will be minus and from here we will measure image distance also so the image distance and incident ray are in same direction so this will be plus and in the same way radius of curvature same direction so this also will be plus only u is minus here by applying sign convention v is positive and r is positive so u sorry u negative now so u is negative minus u plus of uh, this is mu1 no yes mu2 of delta tan delta means opposite y by v that means y by v that equal to tan beta means this is beta no y by r so this will be uh, mu2 minus mu1 of y by r so if you take uh, y comma here and there and cancel y so our uh, fresh equation will be like this mu2 by v minus mu1 by u is equal to mu2 by mu1 by r so this is our final equation mu2 by v minus mu1 by u equal to mu2 minus mu1 by r so uh, when 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 we are getting this here the image is real image as the rays are meeting really the image formed is real image and here uh, the object object is in uh, rarer medium see here this is rarer medium and the image formed is in denser medium so uh, object is in rarer medium image is in denser medium and here the image formed is real image and here we got the equation like this yes whether the image is real or virtual or whether the surface is convex or concave the equation won't change when the equation will change 
it depends upon the object whether the object is in rarer medium or denser medium whether the object is in rarer medium or denser medium the this equation will change how the equation will change here the object is in rarer medium so we got this equation so if the object is in denser medium we will get the equation as like this mu1 by mu1 by u sorry mu1 by v minus mu2 by u equal to mu1 minus mu2 by r so we will get the, the equation as like this when the object is in denser medium when the object is in denser medium the equation will be like this the variation comes whenever the, the when the variation comes is uh, depends upon the op, lo, position of the object if the object is in uh, denser medium the equation changes if the object is in rarer medium the equation will be changing and for plane mirror see for plane mirror uh, the radius of curvature is infinity so as the radius of curvature is infinity this whole term will be zero so anything by infinity is zero so this term will be zero as this term is zero what we will get is mu1 by v equal to mu2 by u so this equation we will get for plane surface as for plane surface the radius of curvature is infinity we will get this equation so this is about the refraction at spherical surfaces